Ladies and gentlemen, members of this wonderful place we call Earth, welcome to Denwood. It is finally time to dispel that myth that we all know that real men eat meat. Welcome to Denwood. Here's the real truth, and I guarantee you that nobody will argue this with me. What makes a real man? Well, because men tend to be larger, physically stronger human beings than the fairer sex, society has told us that real men must possess these traits. One, a real man must be stronger than the average person inside and out. Okay, that means physically and emotionally. A real man needs to be tough and not cry. Got it. Two, a real man will have the ability to protect. A real man will protect those that are weaker than him and those in need. I like that. That means that bullies can't be real men. Three, a real man will have the ability to sacrifice or go without. It's traditionally known that a real man will stand up and give up his seat to a lady or an elderly person in need. Or even just spare a second of his time to open up the door for a stranger. Or better yet, maybe go without eating if it means somebody else gets to eat. Or like so many men out there actually do day to day is work those extra long, hard hours so that their wife and kids get the nicer, finer things in life. That's great. All of those things are what make a real man. In fact, all those things are what constitute just a good person. So then all this begs the question, why do real men, real men, eat meat? Well, guess what? They don't. They don't. You see, as we get older, we start getting past all those childish things, like when a child cries because they can't get the candy that they want. A real man might actually enjoy the taste of candy or ice cream, but a real man isn't even going to bat an eye if he can't have his candy or ice cream. In fact, a real man will enjoy his food when he can, but he doesn't have to. It's sustenance. A real man can go without. And so when I hear men talking shit on vegans and vegetarians and saying things like, I ain't never gonna be one of them wussy vegetarianisms. Real men eat meat. Do you know what I hear? I hear a little child crying that they can't have their candy. And on top of that, there really isn't any excuse anymore. We got vegetarian meat that bleeds and it's good. There are tons of delicious, high-protein, non-animal products out there to buy these days. So real men can no longer say things like, well, I gotta get my protein somehow. Oh yeah, that's a nice one right there. These poor excuses for men, these real men, would rather sit back in their lazy boy chairs while innocent, harmless creatures are mistreated and murdered and slaughtered, packaged up and sent to the grocery store so that it can essentially be handed to them like handing candy or ice cream to a child. But me, I'm a real man. I hunt what I eat. Wrong! You hide in secret with overpowered weapons and attack defenseless creatures. That's not very manly now, is it? You know what manly would be? Manly would be going out into a dense forest with a bunch of food and sitting it out and waiting for a bear to attack you, then fighting that bear off with your bare hands until maybe only one of you survives, hopefully you, then fuck yeah, eat that meat, why waste it? You just fought for your life. At the end of the day, a real man, number one, bigger and stronger, is always gonna protect and look out for those that are weaker than him, number two. And that includes defenseless creatures and animals. And number three, a real man can do without. And that means a real man isn't going to cry like a little baby if he can't have his T-bone steak. And that bigger, stronger man, that tough man who needs to get his protein in every day, well, he's got all the choices in the world now that don't involve animals, animals that he should be protecting. And he's the guy that makes it obvious. It's so obvious now. Real men don't need to eat meat. And what about me, myself? I'm trying. You know, I know I'm capable of protecting those that I love and care about, those that are weaker than me, innocent creatures, animals, taking care of this planet, I'm capable of that. And I want to be a real man. Man, I'm not there yet. 
I fail all the time. But you see, that's what makes me different than all you fake real men out there. You see, I'm trying. And I want to make a good example for my son one day so that he has the right tools to grow up and be a real man. Thanks for listening.